Hi. Uh, Brian, ZL3XDG in the chat. Um, just listening to a, I think it's a Charlie November station, Morocco, on uh, 20 metres with uh, with a bit of a pile up going there but um, we won't interrupt him hope you're all hope you're all well anyway so t today i'm just doing a, a short video on a, um, a, a two element parasitic um, vertical antenna firing long path on 20 meters that i've been uh, exper experimenting uh, with <coughs> excuse me um I only I only work uh, long path in the evening from uh, from here, just the uh, just the way things work out um, with time and everything else. And uh, short path in the morning is normally fairly quiet. So I've been I've been looking at um, the uh, at the to let's let's just turn around and just just have a look at, on the screen here. Here we go here. Uh, somebody, a friend of mine, very kindly um, dipped into um, one of these software programs. Um, I, I don't, I don't normally use them uh, myself. To be honest, I like to make an antenna uh, and actually try it, try it out on uh, on the radio for for real. But this, this is what my friend came up with. Um, I've been experimenting with a a, 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 um, a two element, especially for a small garden just to give me a bit of gain a uh, long path over the vertical um so basically what we've got uh, what we've got here is um we've got a a driven element on the right which which is just tuned to um uh, resonance on the frequency of your choice on 20 meters um mine i think mine's about um <coughs> excuse me mine's about uh, 14 100 and then uh, behind it I have another, uh, and these these are just um, these are just cheap painting poles I got from the uh, hardware shop. Behind it, um, the uh, reflector, which is which is not connected, obviously parasitic. It's not connected in any way, shape, or form. Uh, has has a few radials on the bottom, as the driven element does. Um, the reflector is about um, ten centimeters um, ten centimeters longer. So what I've basically uh, been doing, I think I've got another uh, picture here somewhere. Yeah, so this is what it looks like outside. It's literally just stuck among some trees out of the way. It's not, it you know, it it never seems to be affected by trees or other objects around it. But what I've been doing is um, trying to trying to get the um, the most gain out of it uh, long path for me, which is this direction. Um, and altering the altering the height of the, re, the reflector um, didn't seem to make a lot of difference. Um, so what I decided to do, using a lot of the SDR receivers on the internet from around the world, I just kept putting, uh, um, just testing, uh, obviously making sure that the frequency is uh, not in use and putting a small carrier out, and then as I say, altering the, the height uh, of the reflector either way, up or down, didn't make a lot of difference to my signal on uh, on SDR receivers around the world. So I started to experiment with the distance in between. Initially, I had, it, I had them a quarter wave apart. But anyway, to cut a long story short, over the last two, two months over the last two months and doing tests every evening um i've now got um now got the spacing um uh, which gives me the most gain actually on on the air not not on not on um not on software um on on the on the internet and that and it works out in my case it's exactly 3.4 meters and gives me an average of um a gain of 1 one nearly two nearly two s points about one point one point nine um uh, s points sometimes two s points on all all the s d r receivers i'm using across um, europe and the united kingdom and america and so forth as i say i've been doing this for for nearly two months now and um as i say it's just a very simple setup 
let's just have a quick look here. This is actually the re reflector. It's not a brilliant picture, but this is the reflector here, which is literally just stuck in a tree, and it's not connected to uh, to any, to the driven element, which is further to the right. It's just had some radials coming on the ground, and as I say, and what I've done with the radials because it's a very small space. Uh, I haven't put quarter wave radials down. I've actually cut them in half. So instead of being five metre long radials, um, they're actually only 2.5 and scattered half a dozen around um, the base of the reflector and the base of the uh, of the dri driven driven element. And this is sort of looking from the end. As you can see between this hedge here and this, this hedge over here, I haven't got much of a much of an area, but... As you can see, it fits in quite nicely. You can see the um, you can see the driven element just there in the front, and <clears throat> and the results um, um, the results have been in uh, for me have, have been pretty outstanding. I've, I've a lot of people say that um, I'm I'm definitely a, a better signal, and the noise uh, the noise on the band has dropped down. As I say, this is. This is only um, if I look down here. I've got a wee sketch. I'm not um, I'm not professional with the camera work and uh, and drawings and all this like a lot of people are on uh, on 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 YouTube. I'm sorry about that. Um, if 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 you're if you're slightly offended by the way I do things, um, just just don't um, don't make a don't make a hullabaloo on uh, YouTube over it. Just come over here, have a beer with me, and we'll sort it out. You know. But down down here, uh, you can see basically this is what we've got. We've we've got the uh, driven element with some radials on it, and obviously the coax comes away to uh, to the shack, and literally three three point four meters behind it, and it's ten ten cent ten centimeters uh, higher, and um, and um, yeah, I'd say on on uh, it gives me about nearly two S points. Uh, on most of the SDR stations that I've been, uh, I've been, I've been trialing, and uh, and actually on the air, it, on the air itself, um, recently, um, both CW and um, sideband, uh, and not sure how close you can get in, uh, getting into uh, getting into most of Europe, uh, Wales, uh, England, uh, Scotland, uh, and uh, Uruguay, uh, Lithuania. And um, various places, a, a, a lot, a, a lot easier. And most of the stations are saying to me that, um, yeah, you definitely sound a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit stronger. Um, had a very good run the other day with um, <coughs> um, Golf India on uh, twenty meters sideband, and also um, Mike Zero uh, Stroke Mobile on uh, twenty meters sideband. Uh, these stations and. Uh, I just noticed uh, Pete, uh, Mike 3, Kilo X-ray, Zulu stroke, portable running QRP 5 watts from England. And uh, yeah, so I think, I think uh, the, the little two element, um, the little two, um, two element is definitely, uh, is definitely working, uh, working, working well for me. So that, that, there we go. It's just, a, as I say, it's just a quick, a quick video. Um, for anybody that's interested, if you've got a vertical up and you've only got a very small area, I'd say this this antenna system is for me personally is is just for long path, um, because that's that's the main the main uh, time I use is for long path. It's for a small garden. Um, as I say, the the elements are only three point four meters apart, and the radials now been cutting half. So only two point five instead of five meters. You only need a small area of about six meters, which is um, is is uh, is not not uh, not much bigger than a, a garden veg patch. So, or, or, but you can actually just like I did. You can you can put this array anywhere. Just put it in some trees. Put it up against a fence uh, in your favorite direction, and um, and and give it a go. I, I think. Um, it, it's a good alternative to you know putting a big tower up and a beam on the top or getting a big uh, big amplifier on the air. Um, th this uh, this this seems a lot easier to me. I know a lot of people um, uh, uh, sort of go along the um, phased um, phased um, situation, phased uh, verticals. 
Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> I think I'm just a bit old and a bit lazy to start and put uh, phase lines and switching boxes and all that. When, when this, uh, you know, if you've already got a vertical up, getting another painting pole and a few radials, put it in the garden, takes 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes. And as you can see, uh, strapped to a tree, it, you know, it's not rocket science. It doesn't need to be. It's, um, you know, it's a simple thing to do. And it, and it gives, uh, gives in my case, give good results. And it could do in your in your your situation as well, you know. So there you go. Um, and uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope you uh, find it a little bit a little bit interesting. I know one or two uh, fellow uh, amateur radio operators in the UK have already tried this, and um, they, they, they've had some uh, they've had some success. And one or two G stations are now saying that uh, they're able to work me when um, when they couldn't before. And that's you know we're talking thirteen thousand miles here. We're not talking you know from UK to America, just local DX. This is right round the planet. Um, so and that's where I always aim for. Try and get an antenna that will that will give me more than ten thousand miles um, distance to uh, to another station. So enjoy and. Uh, Hope to meet you on the hair on the on the air, and if you uh, if you hear me on, um, and uh, uh, just as a just a, a wee little message um, to uh, uh, a guy that sent me a, an email that um, he's now bought a big amplifier to try and uh, try and work me um, in the UK, but he still can't hear me. So amplifiers don't don't make receive um, any better. In case you didn't <laughs> didn't realise, but this an this antenna could. This antenna could you could uh, save yourself a lot of money. Just put a I think it was six dollars it cost me for a for a pole and a few bits of wire. Have a go if you want, and uh, if you want to sked with me, you know, just send send me an email and I'll I'll give a listen for you anytime. And uh, it'll be, be nice to uh, nice to work you. Take care. Seventy three is from ZL three XDJ. Just gonna go and have a coffee now. Cheers for now. Bye.